to see Kate this morning. Yeah, yeah, she told me. Yeah, I was just, you know, going to ask her about the day the gun was recovered from her office. Questioning her was one thing, but accusing her, that's another thing. Now I understand. I know that you had your problems in the past, but, you know, I thought that was behind you, right? What, what, did, what did she say to you? That you two had a blowout? Are you going to say something different? I can't keep doing this. I should have never said anything to you. We need to tell someone. Yeah. My husband, who's never going to understand why I said something to you first. Well, you know, sometimes it's just easier talking to a stranger. Anyone you might have known in another life. Yeah, but in this life, you are trying to take down my husband's best friend. Not about him. It's just with two people talking. You're upset. I wanted to help. It's not like it really makes a difference anyway, you know, saying it out loud. This baby could be Franco's. You can't be certain. Sure is a possibility, though. Jason and Franco were twins, which means the DNA test was totally meaningless. Not necessarily. Your husband and this guy Franco, they're fraternal twins, not identical. Right. It means their DNA is not identical either. No, you don't understand. We didn't test the baby against both, only Jason. I mean, why would we? We had no idea that Franco and Jason were going to be brothers. I mean, let alone twins. Okay. I can't believe this is happening. Listen, it's going to be okay. No, it is not going to be okay. Don't you understand? We finally thought this nightmare was over. There's only one way to know for sure. Run another test against Franco's DNA. No, see, that's, that's the thing. We can't. The strongest piece of evidence they have against you is this gun. Okay, we're not talking about the gun. Wait, we're I know, I know, I, I, no, no, but the gun was found in Kate's office. No, no, I know that, but we're not listening. You're not listening yeah, to me right Sonny, now. I'm just trying to explain if the gun was planted. What do you mean if? Hold on, what if? No, I'm, I'm just trying to get a timeline. Okay, I need to know when Kate got to the office. Was the gun planted before she got in? After she got in, did she leave the office at some point during but the you day? You didn't ask about the timeline. You, you asked if the gun was her. No. And you were pushing her or whatever you were I doing. Not, I, no, I, okay, that's not I don't, true. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to fight about this with you, Jason. You had blackouts before the procedure. Maybe they're coming back. Maybe you should go, you know, you should just go see a doctor again. Franco spent two extended periods of time in Port Charles, right? Yeah. The first time he was here, his studio was destroyed. But you might be able to retrace his steps from the second time he came, see if maybe he left something behind. No, Franco never left anything behind. He didn't mean to. Wait, except... What? Well, the ID bracelet that I got from his mother. From when he was born? You can knock yourself out, but I doubt it's retaining any DNA after so many years. Okay, well then, we'll never know. Not necessarily. I think I might be able to help. I don't need to go back to the doctor. My, my test came back clean. I'm, I'm fully recovered. That's what we said last summer, and we, we were wrong. Yeah, no, but I'm fine. Not according to Kate. I'm... Wait, I'm just trying to figure this out. If you're not getting sick again, why did why did you disrespect? I never disrespect. You don't like Kate. her again? No, I'm just trying to figure out how the gun no, got. This, the this is, goes back to when Michael got shot. Kate was with me at the warehouse. You blamed her for no, everything. No, I didn't. And then we, remember, we we're waiting for Michael to come out of the surgery, and she, you looked at her like she had no right to be standing next to me, and and you completely blamed her for everything. And that's kind of the feeling I'm getting right now. If, if the gun was planted, how can it be Kate's fault? I never said it was Kate's fault. But that's what she said. Why would she lie? I have no idea. I'm telling you right now. You that's know what not what happened. Hold on. Hold on. What? You know what she said? That you lost it. That, that uh, me, that yes. I lost yeah. it. That you came at her, that's calling her names. You were like a different... Right. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? If anyone wasn't acting like himself, it was Kate. Obviously, the FBI, they had a file on Franco. And they interviewed him several times about various murders over the years. Nothing ever stuck. Okay, I don't see how any of that can help me. Franco's dead. The cases he was a suspect in, they're still open. 
Okay, wait, so, so what you're telling me is there could still be DNA of Franco on file somewhere? That's what I'm telling you. I still have a few friends over at the FBI. I mean, maybe they could arrange for another sample. Really? Yeah, then you and Jason could do another DNA test. Okay, um... Wait a minute, I, Jason can't know about any of this. I know that Kate's worried about you. And I know she got pretty wound up after, after you got shot. So she's imagining? Well, she's not used to guns. She's not used to murder investigations. Maybe when I was asking her questions, she thought I was accusing her, but I, I wasn't. She says you were hostile, that you were threatening. Sonny, that is not what happened. She's the one who went off on me. Oh, man, I'm not buying all this right she now. She started calling me names. She called but me your lap dog. That doesn't sound like her, though. I, I understand that. That's, that's exactly why That's I exactly why what? Last time you and Kate were together, she wanted you out of the business. Right. And, and you agreed. That was your call. She doesn't like what you do for work. She doesn't like how I'm connected to it. She does not like Carly. Stop. No, I don't want to hear Carly. Because I don't want to hear that she's the only woman in the world who can deal with my business. And, and Kate's too fragile to deal with me well, no, Kate, or my Kate life. Kate pretty flipped out about everything that's happened. Okay. There are only two people who believe in me. And that is you and Kate. Carly practically to my face. Said I was guilty. Sonny, I was here. She said she wants to believe in you, but she has doubts. Doubts? Two kids, four marriages? You're going to have doubts? Well, I, th I think Kate does, too. She just doesn't want to say anything. What does that mean? I think that's why she went off ab ab about the gun. She got upset because she's afraid it's yours. And she's afraid that you might be guilty, and she doesn't want to admit it. You may not like Kate. That's fine. But, for, you know, to pressure... To the pressure goal, her, the I, it's not what happened, then, Sonny. Then why, then why does Kate say it did? Something's wrong with Kate. What do you mean something is wrong with Kate? She was just, she was acting strange. Maybe she didn't like you going into her office making accusations. Sonny, I never accused her of anything. I just asked her to walk me through the day the gun was found. That's it. I was just trying to get a timeline. And she kept asking me if I knew who she was. What did you say? I said, I, I, I tried to calm her down. That only made things worse. She said that she was always going to be first in your life, and if I crossed her again, that I was going to regret it. What do you expect me to do with this? I don't, this I don't know. Nothing. Look, I, I know that you love Kate. I'm not trying to get in the way. Then what are you trying to do? Giving you a warning. Look, I'm not suggesting you tell Jason I arranged for the sample. No, I don't want to tell him at all. That you're running a DNA test? When Jason finds out that Franco wasn't just his brother, but his twin, it's, it's going to kill him. Yeah, no, I, I realize it's going to be a bit of a shock. A shock? That is an understatement. Jason and Franco, they, they despised each other. Jason hated him so much that he... I just, I'm, I don't, I don't want Jason to get consumed with hate. I, I won't allow that to happen again. Listen, I don't know your guy, right? I'm pretty sure he's going to end up giving me a headache, but he deserves to know what's going on. I'm going to tell him. I mean, I'm going to tell him what's going on. That's what I plan on doing. I just want to I want to wait until I have all of the DNA information. I mean, this way I know what I'm dealing with. Meanwhile, you're going in alone. I can take it. I bet you he'd say the same thing. Hopefully, I mean, and this is what I'm thinking, hopefully I can get the DNA test in and it's going to prove that Jason's the father of my baby and this way I can deliver the good news with the bad. I mean, won't that make it easier? No. I'm just, I'm just telling you what happened. Kate was angry, she was emotional, she blew up out of nowhere and it happened when I asked her about the gun. Let's get this straight. Let's get this thing straight, please. Kate had nothing to do with the gun or that accident. Johnny Zakara planted the gun. If you want to protect me, that's what you need to focus on. You... Okay, that's Kate. She wants me to meet her at the Metro Court. So I am not going to mention this to her. I, I, really, I want this to be over. I understand.
Now, your, your loyalty means everything to me. You know that. But, you know, I am committed to her. I know. I don't want any more misunderstandings, so... Just for now, can you just stay away from her? I love Jason, and I'm, I'm doing this for him. All I know is keeping secrets like this, it never ends well. No, this is different from your situation. You know, I don't know about any of that. Natalie lied to me about her son, and she said she was doing it to protect me. Okay, so I, I take it Natalie lied to you about something huge, then? Yeah, you know, she thought she was doing the right thing. You know, we would she would have kept it up forever. She. I'm not planning on keeping this up forever. I'm not going to lie to Jason forever. I want to wait until the DNA test comes in. Hopefully it says that he's the baby's dad, and then I can soften the blow. I mean, I just want to spare my husband a little bit of pain. What's wrong with that? That's exactly what Natalie said. Do you ever think maybe we don't want to be spared? Now right, look, just think about it, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you the, get you the sample. All right? Is, okay. Is there somewhere I can contact you? Yeah, of course. Um, listen. <clears throat> The second number is my cell. Okay. But if you leave a message... I'll be discreet, all right? Okay. Listen, you need to get in touch with me beforehand. This is my card. Okay. Um, listen, no matter what you decide, and I mean this, we never had this conversation. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, the rejection took this long, I'm Alexis Davis, and uh, you are. I'm Joey Payne. I'm here to talk to you about the restraining order. But by the way, might I say that was very thorough. You do excellent work. Thank you. I think hmm. uh, we're going to have to postpone this discussion because I have a meeting with my daughter. Actually, Mom, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Thank you. just happened here. Wait, I was just calling, me. calling you. Hi. Oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah, Spinelli said you went out. Where'd you go? Um, went to my mom's house. Hmm. Ferncliffe. Yes. And did you get the answers you were looking for? 